For me, getting excited is seeing other people really enjoy a time out or a night out. A lot of people these days, going out is expensive. So they don't go out three, four, five days a week. They get one day a week, maybe one day every two weeks. So for them, it's very special to be able to go out and have a good time with their family or their friends, and enjoy the atmosphere. Seeing people do that is very special to me. My name is Connor and I love to bartend. You're, you're kind of like a local celebrity. Knowing your bartender, you become a part of that person's life. You know, you talk about special moments, anniversaries, occasions, holidays, and they want to share that with you. And it's a nice thing to do because it's very, very sociable. In the early years, I wanted to pursue bartending because I am a very social guy, and it was kind of like an avenue to get out there and meet people. What grew was like my passion for making cocktails, playing with new different liqueurs, experimenting, um, you know, kind of going against the grain. I enjoy doing that. I enjoy creating the cocktails and experimenting with the flavors and coming up with a menu that I think someone's going to come in and really enjoy. And if, you know, they haven't tried these things before, it gives them the chance to do so. I have met so many people that I have in my life today through the bar scene. You know, people that I've just randomly gone up to a table, asked them how their night is, and actually, you know, we're exchanging stories about places in the world that we've been and, and other places that we've gone for drinks or other things that we like to do outside of the bar scene. And, you know, having that is very, very cool. Wow, so my favorite drink to make changes <laughs> quite regularly. Um, I would have to say right now, um, it's a mix up. It's torn between uh, a Mezcal Negroni, which is made with one of my favorite liqueurs, a Mezcal. Um, it's very smoky, it's very bitter. It's served in a high, uh, like a highball glass with a really big ice cube. Um, it's a slow, easy sipping drink. Um, another one I'm a really big fan of is it's called an Old Cuban. So an Old Cuban is something I stumbled across recently. It's been around for a while. Um, picture a, a mojito made with Angostura bitters and then topped with Prosecco. So it's kind of like a bubbly mojito. 